Hi, welcome back to our channel Auto Car News. Today I will review again about the cars for you, so watch and listen carefully. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. 2017 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport First Test You did what? I asked a friend who bought a Corvette with an automatic transmission. I know he had some excuse. Traffic. Me. He's a bad person, but I don't remember it. Who on earth would buy an automatic Corvette when there's a perfectly good row your own available? For less money, too. Here's the crazy part, only 23% of the Corvettes sold in 2016 were manuals. SMH, as the kids say, though I guess I do live in a silicon dioxide, ceramic tower, I barely ever see automatic Corvettes let alone consider purchasing one. All this is a fancy preamble to explain that we tested a 2017 Corvette Grand Sport with an 8-speed automatic transmission. But fear not, we also tested a manual Grand Sport. We're good like that. For those not familiar with concept, the Grand Sport is to Corvette what GTS is to Porsche. Think about the 911 GTS. For example, you take most of the popular performance options from the Carrera S, throw in the wide body kit from the turbo, and price it so that aftermarket mods would cost about twice as much. Meet the Grand Sport. You start with the Stingray version of the C7 with the Z51 option. Z51 means the snarling 460 horsepower, 465 pound to feet 6.2 liter V8 has a dry oil sump. This pays off in the corners. Let's get to it. In a straight line, the Grand Sport with a 7-speed manual which also comes with a Z51's shorter gears, hits 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds and runs across one quarter mile of tarmac in 12.2 seconds at 116.1 miles per hour. That's pretty good, though it should be noted that the slightly less powerful, 455 horsepower, 455 pounds to feet of torque, Camaro SS1 will hit 60 miles per hour in 4.0 seconds and does the quarter mile dash in 12.4 seconds at 114.2 miles per hour. The GS manual weighs 3,464 pounds, whereas the Camaro clocks in at 3,735 pounds. But start turning the wheel, and the Grand Sport accords a maximum lateral acceleration number of 1.18 grams. That's the best we've ever recorded from a production vehicle. That one with Camaro pulls a 1.09 which is pretty good. But again, the Grand Sport has the most grip of any production car on earth. The Row Your Own GS does pretty well in the figure 8, too. By that I mean 22.